Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your reading and this is for Sagittarius Ascendant, Moon Rising and Venus Placement on their chart. Jupiter may also resonate with the reading. Cross watchers are always welcome. This is for your May the 14th and May the 15th of 2020 reading. Cross watchers, if I describe someone here and you know that it is not you, then it's not you, okay? say I'm describing someone just because you are connecting with a Sagittarius and I described someone here that is a total opposite of you you're gonna assume that it is you no okay don't because first of all you're not the only Sagittarius I mean you're not the only person connecting with the Sagittarius second this is not a personal reading okay don't take it personally I have no intentions of you know um, attacking someone if that was you feel um, I'm just being stay I mean staying true to the card and besides you know yourself better okay don't take it personally for those new in this channel you might want to consider subscribing for I am always hosting a party online what I mean by that is I am always doing a live reading that is live stream and you can ask me question on the live stream okay um sagittarius if you resonate with the reading congratulations if you do not resonate with the reading come back to this reading after a week or two if you resonate with some bits and pieces of the reading then still congratulations for i am doing a collective reading so sagittarius let's begin with the reading you might be connecting with libra or has a libra placement on their chart um high priestess is here you have to make a better judgment and you, I, I believe that you're gonna do it because you will be trusting your intuition high priestess always trust her intuition that's why they call the high priestess um, you know the ups and downs the um, black and white the negative and the positive side of your situation and you are being guided by your angels all right your intuitions are heightened you're probably also watching tarot that's why you are here you're seeking for advice and your intuition will tell you that yes i have to do that okay and you're if you're also um like um waiting for a sign if you need to book a personal reading it's here the high priestess you know that you need to do this okay princess of swords um This is that I don't like. No, not really I don't like. Um, this is the least of my favorite. Okay. Um, this is the least. Or this is probably the most rather. My favorite card rather. Because it goes fast. I'm thinking of Princess of Pentacles. But Princess of Swords, you know, it, it moves fast. Okay. However, the fast, the fast moving here is this connection is now becoming mental right um first it was emotional all love but someone here is really stressed out so someone here is like is in a prison self-inflicted prison it's here um i can also see here is that the princess of pentacles there you go now it's not moving i just mentioned princess of pentacles will not going to move so it moves fast now the connection is not moving that's why someone is stressed okay um just this you might be connecting with a libra or has a libra placement the libra card is always showing here and you know justice will be served whoever left someone okay justice will be served to that person who did someone wrong okay it could be you or the other person temperance you might be connecting with this is your card sagittarius right um say hold up say your patience is being tested here you're trying to juggle the you know the the connection like testing the waters seven of swords is a thief in the night there's a thief in the night it's here um someone wanted to take something from you or they already did right they did took 
something, right? Like the say they took something from you, like literally took you know money or an object, or they took your peace, your love, your attention, your affection. They took it from you, your whole persona. That's why you are in a self-inflicted uh, prison. It feels like you don't know yourself anymore when you go back for being a single. I mean, for, for from being single, you don't know yourself anymore. It's here. Um, the hermit, you might be connecting with a Virgo or has a Virgo placement on their chart. This connection has been for quite a while now, okay? Um, and someone here is already enlightened. For quite a while now, if you just met this person, you will feel that this person, you know, feels like you've known this person for a while. The reason why it for the reason why it's like that and why I said it's for a while now is because you've known this person in your past life if you believe in reincarnation. Okay? You've known this person for quite a while now in your past life. And now you meet again to complete a specific cycle. Um, it's stated here that whoever this is, this connection will have its enlightenment the world card see the ending the world card is an ending because this is the oldest from the major arcana okay so the ending this connection might maybe you know your cycle may end in this lifetime let's do a clarification so make a better judgment because someone here is focused on the job and seven of wands is you know kind of say there are also people involved in this connection you know that you know in your instinct that your person is listening to other people instead of listening to you that's why you're stressed out here you want a victory in this you want to start something new now other people three of cups now i can say that there is a third party in this connection that's why you're stressed out and you wanted to cut this third party for you to have your victory justice will be served hermit virgo um as i can see here someone left because someone if, even though when there is love eight of cups they left even though that well, even when there there is love so they may be you know they may be out of this situation for quite a while now but then again they're gonna have a an enlightenment on this so you're you're here very patient six of pentacles um page of wands so it's either you are communicating with this person or they are communicating with you via text via messenger using phone right but their attention is giving you less of what you deserve sometimes they will respond sometimes you're really ghosted it's here so seven of swords what they took from you let me check four of wands they took from you what you want in life what you want is the the dream of completing this cycle the dream of being a family the dream of getting married the dream of um putting this connection into another level and you feel like dying inside here it's here you really feel like dying inside so the hermit I want to clarify this is there a financial issue is there a health issue because if there is lover's card if you have a health issue um, your health will regain um and king of pentacles if you are having a financial issue you're gonna revive the say you're gonna revive your your coins your pentacles you might be connecting with a gemini or has a gemini placement on their card but the the end of the cycle is here you're gonna be back together it's here you're gonna be back together so this is your reading Sagittarius. If you want to go in-depth and you want to book a personal reading with me, you can contact me at babaylandtv at gmail.com. So click the subscribe button, smash that notification bell, and comment down below. I'm very interactive. Thank you so much for watching. Love and light to you. Namaste. See you on the next reading. Goodbye.